the launch of Mariner 10. These photographs of the Earth were taken to test the cameras that were to photograph both Venus and Mercury for the first time. After leaving the gravitational field of Earth, Mariner 10 began its long voyage to Mercury. The spacecraft's flight path was carefully chosen to skim past the planet orbiting between Earth and Mercury, cloud-covered Venus. The Mariner 10 cameras at close range were to show us a startling new Venus, a Venus we couldn't see from Earth. The gravitational field of Venus was used to bend the flight path of Mariner 10 inwards towards Mercury. Then the gravity of the Sun pulled Mariner towards its first encounter with the planet. In March of 1974, Mariner 10 flew past Mercury. During the next year, it would perform two more flybys. Mercury's orbit around the Sun is 88 Earth days. Mariner 10's orbit was twice as long, or 176 days. These synchronous orbits allowed Mariner 10 to fly past Mercury a second and third time. The path of the first flyby was on the dark side of Mercury. The second encounter sent the spacecraft past the light side of the planet specifically for photography. After another six-month journey around the sun, Mariner 10 made its third and final encounter 